day five. We're doing Matsumoto to Samago today. We've got a bit of a train journey ahead of us. It's slightly different from the one we had planned initially, but I think we've got it figured out. Hopefully it will go through the mountains and things again, so we'll be able to get some really, really good footage of all the uh, traditional housing and the, the mountains. arrived in Sumago. We are in a uh, ryokan, a uh, traditional building as you can see from the living arrangements. We're sleeping down there. We've got traditional clothing to wear. We're going to have a um, traditional dinner with lots of interesting things which I'll do separately. The train to get here was a bit of an interesting one. It was um, a local train that took quite a while. It sort of crawled through the mountains a little bit until we got here, but it was fine. We've had a walk around, we've seen some really cool old buildings, we've seen a school in the village which was abandoned because there was only three children left. Um, and now we're just sort of chilling in the room, we've got some traditional tea which is, I believe, uh, one of the girls who works here, it's her mother's recipe. And we're going to just sit here, relax, and this is where we'll be sleeping tonight. We might have a bath with the window open so we can see the stars, which would be pretty cool. All in all, a really nice room as I'm sure you can see from everything that's around me.
Beautiful morning in Samago. We stayed the night in our traditional Ryokan. Uh, we had a fantastic evening dinner and a fantastic breakfast, all using locally sourced ingredients and cooked by the owner's wife. Um, and now we're off to catch our train to Kyoto. Uh, to Kyoto in total. Yeah, we're going to get the bullet train for the last stage of the trip. It's going to go about 180 miles per hour. So that should be pretty cool. Um, and that's it, it's a glorious, glorious morning. We've got the mountains behind us, as you can see. And yeah, it's looking fantastic at the minute.